Hey there everyone, again, just another Autodesk Fusion 360 certified user exam objective. And here we're gonna take a look at part modeling. And specifically, we're gonna look at creating Revolve features. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and move into Fusion. So within Fusion here, I'm gonna start by creating a sketch and I'm gonna base it off the front work plane. Now, when you're creating a Revolve feature, you can do something usually what I like to do is I set up uh, a center line or an axis that you want to think about revolving around so that's kind of one of the things that as we get going and you create I'm just gonna create kind of a basic sketch here and for just for the sake of the video we would want to go through and add dimensions but we we just I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this short so Here's our profile. We choose Revolve. So here is the profile. That's the first thing that gets picked up. So automatically Fusion has selected our profile and then it wants us to pick the axis. So we could choose this line and create a full Revolve, be able to create a part like this. Uh, we could make it where, either by using the grip or by typing in a number, we could have it to only go to 270 degrees or maybe only 180 so these are the types of shapes that you can go through and create utilizing a revolve and then really the menu is pretty simple direction you could go to a two side revolution so depending upon what direction you have so you can see I got a second grip here and I've got another one on the other side so I can go through and kind of make a two sided revolution or I can go a symmetric so symmetric would go through and, and operate in this case you can see as I grab the grip it controls from zero from the profile and it starts to go through and create so as I go to 90 it actually creates a 180 degree um, part because we're doing a symmetric direction so it does 90 degrees on each side of the profile here you can either choose whether you're going to have a create a new body since we don't have any other bodies in this file that would be the default and then you can either join cut intersect or create a new component so either one of those options are available so I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel on that for right now and uh, that's kind of a little bit of what we can use to create a revolve so um, you can also utilize the reason why I hit cancel is if I run the revolve command again I can also choose a different revolution axis which you can see gives us an entirely different shape so depending upon you can see the one that I picked was right here so depending upon what you're looking for in terms of shapes and things like that that will go through and determine what we have so I'll say okay and then one thing that you can also do is if I create another sketch if I click on the inside here is I'm going to go ahead and just create a very small and actually I'm going to need to project the edges of this geometry so I'm going to select this edge if I wanted to cut a groove in here I'm going to take my line tool and track off of there I'm just going to create like a real small kind of rectangular profile so there on the edge and some things to help constrain it I might want to go through and use a horizontal vertical choose the point choose the point there that'll make sure that that edge stays right up against it even if you overshoot a little bit this would still at least not under but over that would also work as well so here I've got this little rectangular face if I do a revolve it picks up the profile wants to know what axis to revolve around so what I usually do is what we want to see is where does it kind of revolve so here I want the red axis so if you have this get in the way like I'm having no trouble selecting that I'm going to toggle the bodies off, select the axis, and then toggle the body because I get a warning. But if I toggle the body back on here, it automatically picks up that I want to cut a groove into, into the edge, which is exactly what I want. So there I can go through and create, under the operation, a cut feature. And if I make an intersect, the, it only goes through and models what are the, the sections that intersect each other. So in this case, it creates like a ring not really the desired model that I want but here I can create a groove I say okay and then now there's my groove cut into my part so that's a little bit with revolve features the other thing that you can do I'll open up a new design file for this is when you create a sketch 
you could also go through and leave a little bit of room from the origin. And we'll see what kind of shape we get when we do that. So here's my profile. I'll finish. Click on Revolve. And instead of choosing the line right here to create, because that'll just create kind of similar to what I had before, I'm going to go up here and hit X on Axis, and I'm going to choose the blue line for the axis. And what it's going to do is it's going to leave a big hole right here in the center for me to go through and utilize. So this is another way to go through and to kind of think about designing parts with Revolve in there. So if you have other axes and thing in other parts as well under the construct panel, we'll cover that in another video. But like for example, we can always set up and create our own construction geometry with with axes with an axis through, you know, cylinders or perpendicular to different points or planes. And so that kind of stuff can be found here. And again, of course, I'll cover that in another video, which is another Fusion 360 exam objective. But for now, this covers how to create Revolve features. And in the meantime, continue to study, continue to look forward to taking the ACU exam. And if you have questions, feel free to, to, met, to contact me. And this completes another Fusion 360 exam objective.